They won't disappoint. Alright. Guess I'll take this one. Nice choice. That one because it's a free set of steak knives. Awesome. Come on, seriously. You gotta help me out, man. One day, I was a normal kid and the next thing I knew I was being carted away in a truck. I didn't know where I was going or where my family was. Please, mister, I don't want to be a silly slave. <laughs> cool. As a middle-aged mother of two, I guess you could say my love life was pretty non-existent without the internet. Before the internet then, I was signed up to almost every dating website as possible for one person to be signed up to. And let me tell you, I wasn't too shy about it. <coughs> when the internet went down, it's safe to say I was more disappointed than the kids. How was mummy going to flirt with random strangers on Tinder if there was no internet? One morning, I was doing the dishes and a television ad caught my attention. Are you single and ready to mingle? Oh yeah! Are you one of the unfortunate ones whose love lives were destroyed in the internet ban? Yeah! Well do we have the opportunity for you. Head on down to 42 Man's Road Gosford to see what all the rage is about. <laughs> Find true love. Find true happiness. Kids, mummy's going to the shops! about the ad I saw on the telly. Fill out these forms. Oh, this is quite exciting, isn't it? Uh, all right, all done. Please follow me. Oh, my heart's beating so fast. You'd think someone's, someone as experienced as myself wouldn't get so scared anymore. But no. Sorry. Okay, so it's quite simple, really. There are multiple matches lined up behind the screen. According to your preferences that you brought forth on your application form, we were able to decide the people who you were most likely to be compatible with. One at a time, your matches will step up from behind the screen and tell you something about themselves. All you have to do is swipe right if you're interested or swipe left if you're not. Well, what if they're a flat out hottie with a terrible personality? I'm going to leave you to it. Well, alrighty then. How does this thing work? Hey girl, how you doing? You looking fine as heck. You could really suck a pancake, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> The name's Chad, but uh, you can call me Stud Muffin. <laughs> Ew. Left. You're making a mistake, girl! <laughs> Hello there, my, my name is Derek, but you can call me the comic book guy. I used to own this comic book store, you see? Well, I used to before the government took me off, took it off me. But not in my parents' basement. But not like that for you. You look past all that, or else, nazi day. Didn't imagine I have an extensive collection of marble figurines. Sorry, Derek, I'm going to have to swipe left. Worst dating site ever. Um, hello, my name is Phil. I'm uh, 43 years old and I'm uh, a little bit nervous because I'm a single dad looking to get back into the dating scene. Well, hello, Phil. Oh, uh, by <laughs> chance, did you want to see a dead body? Left. Haha, <laughs> you were fooled. I was a catfish anyway. <laughs> oh my, what beauty. You, my dear, are as radiant as the setting sun, as beautiful as a budding rose. You must come away with me. Wow, well, you're definitely worthy of a swipe right, aren't you? You are wrong, my dear. I am not worthy of your beauty. Swipe right. I can't wait for you to come home and meet me kids. Wait, do you have children? Yeah, two boys. They're real cute. Uh, uh, I must go. Uh, look at the time. My, my cat is on fire. Goodbye. Wait! Don't you at least want me number? No. I was always the disappointment in my family. Nothing I ever did was good enough. My brother was some sort of computer genius, while I, on the other hand, preferred to invest my time in great disputes. I suppose neither of my parents predicted the complete fall of the internet. Trust me, if they did, they would have told me to be more like my brother. The Masons? Are the Mason family here? We're here, Doctor. Is it going to be okay? I'm not going to lie to you, Mrs. Mason. It's not looking good. <laughs> if you'd like, you can go in and see him now. Jason, are you awake, sweetie? Yes, so did I. Yes, better way out. Smell 
can I be? <laughs> you see, what Jason is currently experiencing is, is withdrawals from his, from his excessive time spent on the internet. We have been able to slow his excessive meme quoting, but unfortunately, trying to convince him that he is no longer playing Fortnite has proven to be much more of a challenge. Mom, look at this new meme Harry just sent me. <laughs> Nothing there, son. It's just your hand. Ah, what is happening to me? Don't worry, Jason. You're going to be okay. We are doing everything in our power to help you. Damn, Daniel. It's Wednesday, my dude. As we speak, government facilities are building rehabilitation centers specifically designed for kids like Jason. There are other kids going through what Jason is? Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> what are you even saying? Honestly, it's a global epidemic. I hope you're proud of yourself, Jason. Look forward to Sonus and the whole family. Goodbye, son. Wait, no, don't go. You hear that, Jason? I'm a successful child now. Me, me. It has been a total of 72 days and 21 hours since the internet was shut down. 72 days and 22 hours since a random change on the internet made me feel bad about myself. I just feel lost now. On Instagram, I was famous. I'll post a picture of myself eating a taco. And within 15 minutes, I would have thousands of comments from people telling me what they thought about me. Nowadays, I'm lucky to get one compliment, compliment a day, let alone an insult from a stranger telling me I look fine in the dress I'm wearing. Do you know how badly I long for someone to just tell me what they think of me? Hey, you there, come here. Me? Yes, you. Face my pants, what do you think about me? You look fine, I guess. What if I pay you 20 bucks? Will you honestly tell me what you think about me? Okay. That dress isn't your best. Oh yeah? What else? Oh, and your head's too big for your body. Hey, Sarah, come check this out. This chick will pay you to be mean to us. Ew, put some makeup on you ugly loser. I feel like you get cankles for one more second. I think I might explode. Yes, thank you, thank you. Hey Michelle, come and get a load of this. Here, here's 20 bucks. What do you see when you look at me? I mean, there's not really that much wrong with you. Other than that girl over there is so much prettier than you'll ever be. Thank you so much. You really mean it? Uh, why would I lie to you? It's not like I'm ever going to see you again. Hey guys, come be mean to this chick. Guys, this isn't right. We, we, we shouldn't let all of the decisions affect how she is. We should let her be her. Or not let us affect how she is. She'll pay you. Let's do it. Okay. Here's your Thank you, Sandra. I hate myself. Hey, Sarah, you need to go back to your room. Incredible new entertainment device. Only $99.99 a month. Breaking news. Cultural understanding and environmental awareness has decreased dramatically since the internet ban. Please, please, we beg of you, come on down and find true love. We actually do background checks now. <coughs> die, you noob, die. LOL, BRB. Get out of my way, you loser. Guys, there's a massive protest going on outside of Parliament. A bunch of people are there trying to convince the government to bring the internet back. Let's go. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Don't you want the internet back? We've adapted for the better. Don't you realize what's been going on around you? When you opened your phone, you had no choice but to see footage of wars, injustice, and poverty. Sure, there was still bullying, but there was also keyboard warriors. She's right. For every 10 negative comments, there were always 100 positive ones defending me and letting me know I was appreciated. And Trixie, we need people like your brother to help us develop the world. Sure, he might not have much of a social life, but you and everyone you know will benefit from his hard work and groundbreaking technology. I guess you're right. And Jackson. Your selfishness and greed has stopped you from seeing that there is somebody suffering right in front of you. That boy is not an updated version of Nat. He's a victim of a money-making scheme. Oh, I'm so sorry. So you see, bad things happen on the internet all the time. But our online network allowed us to see the world in a completely different light. We have a generation of acceptance and understanding. We have the opportunity to share our stories and make sure our voices were heard. All because we had access to the internet. Yeah! yeah. So let's fight to get our voices back! Yeah! yeah.
One of the plays earlier on was great. One of the little girls was out doing a speech. All this spit just came flying out of her mouth. And it's a real experience if you're in the front row, if you're with, uh, have really good actors on stage, um, like you know, the old Richard Harris's. Spit would just be flying out of their mouths, and um, it, it was an honour to be covered in their their spit. <laughs> um, you really know when you're acting when you, you know, you're all over the audience. Your DNA's there. Um, so thank you guys. A wonderful play. I hope you had a good time for your second performance. Yeah. And um, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the most improved in the Gosford Intermediates goes to Mr. Ben Higgins. And the most dedicated to Jake Meskech.